What I really like about this compact system are all the functions, all the possibilities you have, plus the fact that you have three oscillators with many different waveforms, outputs, and also a lot of LFOs, which allows to a lot of modulations. I never had this before in such a compact system, to be honest. You have a sequencer, etc. You have a delay, actually, and a no-some, really, very good phaser with feedback, which is important to my eyes, uh, to my ears. Um, you have envelopes. You have three envelopes. It can be very complex. Um, and you have VCAs on, on it. Okay, the VCAs, you don't have any potentiometer to to attenuate the input or output. It's quite direct, but it is okay. It's more in the sense of modulating it. And also you have the mixes if you really want to control the signal which goes in the CV input or in the input actually, you can go through a, a CV mixer. You have four of them. And you can go also through the audio mixer if you want. Um, you have mixer one, two, three, you have a third one here, a mixer three. So you can also mix or attenuate some signals going through the mixes, the different mixes, being audio or CV. So it's really interesting because even the LFOs, you see, have different, different signal outputs, depending what you want to do. So it can be only positive signal, also bipolar signal, really great sine wave and triangle, etc. And as you see, you have CV input on every LFO. You can also reset the LFOs, it's really important. And look at the LFO 4. You have a frequency, a swing and a count. It's not just an LFO, a standard regular LFO. You can just add some, yeah, some swing in it. And uh, about the VCOs again, you see you have a lot of outputs. So to triangle, sine wave, square, three square, it's kind of, it sounds a bit digital, you know, like you mix three square, but not the same phase. You have a sub for the square and you have so many inputs. You have two CV in, one is controllable via attenuator. You have a FM input, pulse width modulation. You see you have three input for pulse width modulation, two for the three square and one for the square. And you have a sync in on each oscillator you have many possibilities and this is great i mean this is not unique but really good here there is a small error on the panel it's not a triangle wave coming out here it's a sine wave so you have a ring modulator you have noise output analog digital with digital you can adjust the timbre which is changing the clock of the digital noise and wave multiplier is kind of tricky i use it as more as a clock divider than a wave multiplier. You have sample and old, a simple one but effective of course as you have also noise output that you can send in for really random sample and old signals. You have four filters very different from each other 12 dB, 24 dB. The 24 dB you can have three outputs 12, 18 and 24 dB. On the first filter to go back to it you have low pass, band pass, high pass, notch, three inputs Two CV inputs. You see, it's 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 well thought in my opinion. Filter two, two inputs, two CV in. VCF three. This is such a great filter. It's a formant filter. You see, with many controls over the bands, so you can have the band pass, uh, low pass, etc., and a mix of them. Different CV input for different bands. It's really well thought. And you have a fourth filter, which is a low pass filter, uh, low pass gate actually, with two inputs. You can send again to trig, modulate it. You have four VCA, you have five LFOs, three envelopes. You have a slew limiter, you have a gate delay, you have CPR. CPR is just a comparator, which can be really useful. And um, slow limiter, yeah, as a delay. On the 2D, you have three position switch. Um, 
delay and the phaser, which I really love. Input, feedback input with feedback control over potentiometer. Outputs, the different mix output. You have a rectifier. DC out, very useful, plus minus five. You have a wave shaper, which I like very much. Um, you have a sequencer, clock input, CV input, reset, uh, great one with a buffer. You have inputs also, you know, with the envelope follower, which is great. You send some audio signal and you get a gate, a trigger, and an envelope out of it. And then you have the outputs. I just did like this because I use one cable, so I'm doubling the signal. You have two rows of outputs which you can control. You can control the pan of each one and the, the, the amplitude of each one. You have two inputs per, per, per mixer here. A VCA input, so you can control via VCA, via CV, so to say. You can control the pan and you can just send some external signal. It's an auxiliary input. If you send a signal here, it goes direct to the output. Yeah, here you can organize them as you want. They were thought to be connected to the back of the system where you will have some 3.5 millimeter jacks. So that's it. That's what I like about this system. This is provisional. I'm, I will do, I'm waiting for wood to finish it and to, uh, to be able to, to, to fix, to mount it really correctly.